Hi there, it's TWO Talk with Oge Fash. We will be looking at obsession now. Have you been obsessed with someone? I can't be obsessed with you. How are you going to handle me? How do you handle a guy that is obsessed? Now the question is, please, how do I handle someone that is extremely obsessed with me? Because I don't have feelings for that person. So we'll write back after the break. Welcome back from the break. Now, Mayor Webster Dictionary defines obsession as a persistent disturbing preoccupation with an often unreasonable idea of feeling, broadly compelling motivation. Now, they must language in the simple language that you can understand. Now, obsession is when you worry excessively about something and want to get it at all costs. Now, you can be obsessed with the opposite sex, designer bags, shoes, clothes, games, beer, gambling, money, food, sex, and so on. The most common is being um, obsessed with you know, the opposite sex. Now, if you find yourself in that situation, that is a situation where someone is obsessed with you, and you're trying to push the person away, don't do the phone thing, number one. Don't switch off your phone. Don't try to do that, because if you switch off your phone, the person will not stop calling you. Because it's off, the person will keep calling you to, he or she will choose you. Do you understand? And if the person of always calling you, the person memorizes your number. As in, like the person knows your number immediately, so you can imagine someone that knows your number without having to scroll through the contact or having to check a book. The person will call you like forever. So don't switch off your phone because of that person. The other time, it's an automatic way of storing your number in his or her heart or head. Now, don't avoid his or her call. The other time, this is also a bonded format. As the person will keep calling your number non stop, he or she will feel like it because you have extreme feelings. Imagine, you know you have feelings for the person. That's why you're avoiding his or her calls. At times, some people will not even think that you are avoiding them. They will think that, they just conclude that you are busy or you are unable to pick calls. You understand? So don't do that. Mm -hmm. They will keep calling you, calling you non stop, and it will also help them memorize the number. Now, the third one is don't cut calls. Do you understand? Don't cut calls because the person will also will not stop calling you. It's simple as don't call the call. This is because he or she will still keep calling you. Do you understand? You can pick the person's call. Do you understand? But don't put it like beside your call. Like, yeah, just, what you should do is just put it aside. You can help the person waste his or her Over time, we are doing that. I'm sure the person is going to minimize the, the, the calls. Now, fourthly, block number. Well, this would have been the best option. Do you understand? If the person doesn't have your own address. Do you understand? Let's say they have your own address, you have, it would have been nice to block the person. Or if you are not on social media. But if you are on social media and he or she searches for you, and find, you will find every way again to contact you again. Do you understand? Because again, SIM card is affordable. So it's possible that the person will even go and buy another SIM card just to get in touch with you. Do you understand? Now the fifth one, don't act too nice, don't act too friendly. Don't friend zone the person. Do you understand? Don't ever try putting you on a the friendly chat. Do you understand? If you do that, you're in trouble. Because the person will think, oh, he or she is already in a relationship with you. Don't friend zone the person. Don't act too nice. You'll be drawing that person close to you. Now, don't act like, you know, yeah. If you're if you acting too nice, yeah, the person is going to be too fond of you. Next step, don't be nice and don't be hostile. Now, the next one, don't shout. You know, <laughs> because there are some that you shout to that and they are even loving you. They are loving you the more for the shout. Don't shout at them. Say, I don't know what's wrong with you. Get out of my... No, don't shout at the person. Don't. It won't let you go. You understand? Don't think because you shout at him, then he let you go. So that won't, have, that won't have happen. He's already obsessed with you and you won't even notice any of the wrong. You understand? He or she will think it's because you are in love. That's why you are doing that. So don't shout at the person. Don't play homosexual, especially. Don't play lesbian. Don't play gay. In fact, that person will automatically say, Ah, it's my lucky day to make him or her attracted to me as the opposite sex. And the person will keep persisting. So don't play homosexual. I mean, don't, I mean, sorry, don't play homosexual. Don't play lesbian or gay. Now, so how do you set your free from such a person? It's very simple. So after you've adhered to the affirmation, you're on your way to be free. What should you do? You must ensure that you act indifferently with the person. Don't friend zone the person. Don't act friendly. Don't act hostile. Secondly, remember that you are not to be nice. You are not to be rude. Moderacy is over. Just be moderate. Whenever you or she calls, ensure you always 
say things that will inflate him or her. You can say things. Don't insult, don't be too insulting. You can say things that will you like will be or inflate the person or something. How? Study him or her. Do you understand? There must be something that inflates the person. Do you understand? But don't shout at the person. Just keep it. When you guys are conversing, that thing that inflates the person, just always be saying it. Do you understand? You see that the call rate will drop. You will eventually speak. The person will eventually stop calling you. I also remember that even if you don't want to speak with the person, don't call the call. Put the first thing, I mean, pick the call and put your phone aside. Just go about your own work. Do you understand? So if after doing this and the person still doesn't stop persisting, pestering your phone, or still keeps calling, just keep pick, picking up the person's call and putting it aside. Too bad to commit me But when you have exhausted the entire credit, you will be the one to finally give up on you. And that's it for that's that's it all, all about obsession for us on OJ Fash, Talk with OJ Fash. Stick it up for the next episode of Talk with OJ Fash. If you have anything to say on obsession, feel free to share with us. Yeah, the comment box. That is bye bye for us. Okay, okay. Okay,